Hey everybody, welcome to another Eden the Game Battle Report. I'm here with Owen from Game with the Cooler, and we're going to be throwing down the special holiday mission today um, for two of the new releases for Eden. We've got the Immortals, a new faction for Eden, um, which are a sort of cybernetic uh, machine god worshipping cult that exists in Eden. Um, and then we have the great Krampus. Every year there's a holiday special um, from Happy Games Factory, and this year they did Krampus. And we're gonna play the special Krampus mission. He's part of Eden Legends, which is a bunch of sort of like special characters that have some multiplayer or cooperative play um, uh, missions around them. And this is a cooperative play one, so we're gonna try and defeat Krampus. He's here to ruin Christmas for everyone, and so the cyber people and the robots got together and decided to save Christmas. <laughs> so we'll show you the armies, we'll show you the table, we'll get this underway. Here is Krampus from Eden Legends, the, the Christmas miracle, if you will. He has five forms. There is Baby Krampus, Great Krampus, and then the Nightmare Krampus. Um, each one bigger and more savage than the last. And he transforms throughout the game. He also gets to bring two non-player fighters to go with him. So we have Bambi and Thumper here, who are two little monsters that are just wandering around the table and are gonna join his team. Um, he has random abilities. He can spend tokens, carnage tokens off himself, which he accrues during the game, to both transform into bigger forms of Krampus, um, but also unlock these powers. And each one's associated with an aspect. So his active aspects, he can choose to roll a die on any of these tables and get these abilities. So if he rolls on movement, he can move, uh, 10 centimeters in the direction of his choice, basically. Hypnotize people, uh, get to move faster, become tyrannical in the next intensity phase. All of them will do an additional prowl action so you can make the little guys do better things. Uh, crushing, he moves 10 centimeters. During this move, he can cross enemy fighters. He can't finish his move on top of them, but each opponent makes a speed roll in opposition with Krampus. And if the opponent fighter loses this roll, he suffers a wound on each limb, ignoring protections. He just tramples people. So things like that. And um, throughout the game, basically, we're trying to kill Krampus, and he's transforming. Now, normally, if you uh, basically take an aspect off of someone in this game, so if you completely fill boxes of one of their aspects, um, they die. So if I was to completely fill in the head aspect here, uh, the Psy, he would die. Um, but on Krampus, because he's a mythical creature, he's supernatural, you have to fill in every box and every aspect to kill him. <laughs> because he's uh, the spirit of Christmas, it's always snowing, which will make our tactical cards cost three side points uh, instead of two to use, sorry, three strategy points instead of two to use throughout the game. Um, and he also gets uh, to always choose who goes first each round and picks himself. So he'll go first, his uh, non-player fighter characters, the little guys will go during the intensity phase at the end of each round. We've got five turns to try and kill him or he'll kill us. Uh, so it's robots, uh, which will be uh, Owen's ISC, and then my new immortals, which are Lug, Ares, and Uranos. Uranos is the big guy here who looks like the, the big carrot-headed dude from Ninja Turtles that had Krang in his chest. Uh, Lug over here is my controller, so he's the one that's... Um, I guess like in charge of putting people's arms and legs back on. And then Ares is the fighter. He's the one that's uh, kind of like the stabby assassin guy. And you guys see these guys are all cybernetically enhanced humans, uh, ready to go punch some dudes with robot blades. Those also have some new special rules. They get chrono tokens. Uh, at the beginning of the game, you get a number of chrono tokens equal to the difference in fighters between you and your opponents. If it's not different, you just get one. Otherwise, you get two. So I'm going to get one chrono fighter to start the game with. And I can use chrono uh, tokens to unlock additional victory point conditions throughout the game um, or to use special abilities like my tactics cards. Uh, on top of that, each of my guys is pretty heavily armored. It's not quite as armored as the robots because they're still human. They don't just have, um, they don't have crippled box or non-crippled boxes like the uh, the ISC do. They can actually become crippled when they get down to the last box. Like normal humans, it takes a lot to cripple them. So they only go to, to the crippled state when they hit their final box because most of their limbs are robotic when they're fighting. Um, so this is going to be it. We're deploying in the corners and then Krampus will deploy afterwards. We have some beautiful terrain here from Black State Studios. This is... Uh, Nice MDF building, pre-colored. I just weathered a little bit uh, with doors that open and close too, so we can go inside. Stuff on the table is by Happy Game Factory itself. Some of the barricades. Uh, this is also Black Site, the two other buildings and stuff. Uh, and then this is um, stuff from a couple different companies. Crick and War Games does the barricades. Uh, and uh, yeah, and 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 we've we've got the table ready to go. All right, so let's deploy. I have 17 command or sorry strategy points. You're 20. We're not using the bid for first turn, um, and everything goes clockwise after. Uh, he does, so we'll just dice off to see what um, what the what the player position for, for Krampus would be each round. Um, so we're gonna deploy within 15 centimeters of a corner, uh, and then we get to deploy. All right, so the Immortals are deployed in this corner, the ISC deploying opposite. Krampus deploys in the middle of the table. He was just chilling on this couch. No one, no one thought he was gonna cause any trouble, and then Babby and Thumper deploy within 10 centimeters of him. Uh, and of course, you get to deploy outside deployment with your um, black, what's her name? 
Kunoichi. Kunoichi. Uh, and then you've got your Grey Damio and your Carmen Ronin. Uh, and we are deployed. So first turn, the baby Krampus gets to go first. Krampus gets to go first. He's a pretty good fighter with a combat of five. Um, he has three Psy, four body, and three movements. And with his three AP, he can do a bunch of things. At the beginning of the intensity phase, he heals a CP, the limb of his choice. He considers all scenery elements as having the hiding special rule. Um, and then Fury, he uh, can choose an ability by spending his Frenzy tokens. Krampus is starting inside of uh, range of a charge, so he's gonna turn, go 10, and charge into Black Kanoichi. And these two are gonna dance. Two of his action dice, he has five dice. His attack, he's looking for your vigor of four, so four pluses. And he gets one, two, three, four successes. Yeah. And you can try and dodge, he's spending an AP. And one to dodge, looking for five. Yeah, because I'm coming five. Because I'm speed seven. One. 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 Take four. Location is going to be the five, which is... Uh, it would be my vigor, my torso. Which is uh, protection one, so I lose one more success, and then you take three damage, which will destroy, destroy you. you. He gets a uh, carnage token from destroying you, and sorry, two at the beginning of the game, because there's two players. He's at three carnage tokens. Uh, and that was two for the charge. Last one, he'll make a move and go 10 and walk behind this wall and be a Krampus. Clockwise from Krampus, Krampus is going to be here, so it'll have me do the next fighter. Um, and then it's just going to go back and forth between us as we're on the same team here. So we're going to have Uranus go. He's got three AP. Uranus is going to take a move and go 10 and walk over here. And then he's going to try and charge. Walk and then a charge. He gets to move 10. And he is in range. I'm gonna try and stab you. So there's no dice left, so he's just gonna remain passive for this one uh, and get stabbed a bunch. So Uranus is uh, combat five, hitting the vigor of baby Krampus, which in this case is four plus. So fours, gets three to the five, which is going to be his. Uh, one, two, three, five is gonna be his torso. It's a carnage token from that. One more carnage token and he will transform into Great Krampus. Great Amy is gonna go. Great Amy is gonna go. He's gonna spend three SP and give an extra action to the uh, Carmen Ronin, wherever the 17 is. Boop. Then he's gonna just come walking out. He'll go 10. Boop. Getting hooked on. <laughs> yep. Walk over to there and he's gonna charge Thumper? Or Thumper? Bambi, That's Bambi. No, Bambi. One Bambi. Bambi's gonna dodge. Four is Bambi's vigor four. Two. One, two. Uh, Bambi's gonna try and dodge, which is a speed of five. Uh, Combat five? Five, yeah. So one. So he takes one damage to the. You actually roll location immediately, two, because you can spend successes to change your locations. In the combat. All right, so uh, you've finished with the Grey Ronin, or sorry, the Grey Damio, rather. Yep. Uh, and that means we're going to go with Lug. Actually, we're going to go with Ares, and Ares is going to run. So he's oh, going to go. And then don't get to activate? They go in the last, they go last oh, the end I of the see. phase. Got it. Yeah, because they're, they're non player fighters. So they're going to go 15 to here, and then another 15, because he can run 30 if he goes three. Oh, so he can actually go five. And finish his last move over there. I don't think I'm quite in range to charge though, because it's 10. Oh, I am. We'll charge. Put the wrong guy down. Thumper's not the goat, Thumper's the rabbit. <laughs> He's fighting Thumper. Can't charge. I just move into you. That's right, because I went one, two, three. It was just a walk. So no fighting. He's going to move, move, and then charge. He has four actions, thanks yep. to Gray. And he'll charge in on uh, this little rabbit and here. Bambies. Now, I have a friend, and I don't remember what that does. Get him, Carmen Ronan. So you've got seven. combat of seven. Yep. He's so good. And you're trying to hit Bambi on fives, and he'll dodge. On fours, right? Uh, bigger? bigger fours, right? Yeah, yeah. Take, oh, uh, take six. six. Seven, so it's sixes to cancel. Let's see what we get. Cancel one. Uh, we need to make the location roll already, actually. That's true. So it is to the... Two, two again. which is the same spot, and, he's and cancel die. one, and he'll just die. He takes five. So Bambi's dead. Blah. Carnage token, and so he can do this at any time, which means he'll just choose to automatically transform into Great Krampus. Da -da -da -da. And he just got angry because people's dying. Lug, you're gonna move, 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 and go twenty, and then ten more. He's gonna get to go first, so we're just gonna stand outside of melee. <laughs> the tendency phase, Great Krampus uh, reduces, he kicks all conditions and damage off when he transforms. So he would normally heal at the beginning of his round. Now he's the new level of Krampus, however, uh, which also 
Causes terror. An opponent fighter who activates in contact with Krampus must perform a side roll of difficulty six at the beginning of the activation. If he does not get at least one success, the fighter immediately seeks a fear token. Uh, Grim Trophy. At the end, every time an opponent fighter is eliminated due to a melee attack from Great Krampus, place a Grim Trophy next to him. At the end of the game, if Great Krampus is still in the field, get five VPs for each one. Uh, and then Fury, he can spend his Fury stuff to heal or get a plus one to his characteristics or remove from the field uh, objective markers and stuff. But these won't be uh, used in this mission for the most part because we're not playing objectives, we're just playing Kill Krampus. Return, uh, sorry, Thumper's gonna go. He's in melee, so he's just gonna attack Ares. Thumper has a combat of four, so he'll roll four dice. Ares uh, has nothing to dodge with, so he just remains passive. Uh, one, two successes to the... Six. Ares has full plasteel armor though, so it goes down to one damage and hits his movement. Turn two, and Krampus gets to go first with three AP. He has no carnage tokens on him. Krampus is gonna get stabbing on Mr. Uh, Uranus there, so he's got three uh, six dice, because he's combat six. Uranus is gonna try and dodge, so six dice. Uh, Uranus's vigor is four, so fours. Uh, one, two, three. Ta da! Five. He'll keep it because it's really the best he can do. Uranus is going to roll his four speed dice, try and cancel. Three to the five. Four speed dice. Doesn't get any sixes, so it takes three to the five. He's got plastic armor of two, though, so it reduces it down to one damage. Grabs him again because he's Krampus. Oh, sorry, that was anyone getting damaged? Rolling Uranus again. And gets four this time to the five. So once again, to his body. Uh, he might as well take it. Uranus will try and dodge once more. Looking for sixes or he's gonna become crippled. Gets none, becomes crippled, takes two more boxes because he cancels two from his posture armor. In your tactical phase, you're gonna play, what is In it called? Force. In human force. You get on three SP. Yep. Uh, cool putting you at 15, you gain one from your controller. Uh, I also gain one from my controller at the beginning of the round. I go to 18. I didn't have any cards I really wanted to play, so I think we're good. Awesome. Ronan is combat eight right now though, which is pretty super sweet. Um, so Uranus is down to one AP, so we're gonna actually go with Ares and he's gonna stab Thumper. Also combat seven, so good at stabbing. Uh, he's trying to hit uh, Thumper on his figure of four. Wow. That was highly unlikely. Spend another AP and do it again! That was only slightly better with four successes. Four to the two on Thumper, which is his head. Thumper will try and dodge. He needs sixes, and his speed is five. He gets one, which means he only takes three and becomes crippled. Just sit on that last AP to dodge later on, and it's over to you. Gray is gonna go because Gray wants to do advanced combat protocol once again. Back down to 12 to give an extra action to Ronin once more. And then, I don't know. I guess, walk. I guess I'll help you kill this rabbit <laughs> before he kills you. You have two AP left? I have three AP left. That didn't okay. cost me anything. Oh, that's right. That's just uh, SPs. Yeah. It's going to charge? Yeah, I'll just charge. Kill the rabbit. Kill the rabbit. Nice. Get him. Five dice. That's for fours. Sure, sure One, two, three. Four. four. Uh, to the location of, get him in the head and die. Six. Nope, it's in his speed. Uh, so he's gonna try and dodge. Cancel four of them on sixes. Fives. On fives, fives, two of them. Takes two to the speed. Grab. Do it. Once more, five dice. They get two. Two. And it's to the four. Four, you could try and just move that. Four is gonna be the body. Or back to the arm. So I'll yeah. just leave it there. Okay. Backwards, he always reposts, not dodges. So he is toast. Maybe then you're just gonna walk away because you would have killed him with that first attack because he didn't dodge. Gonna charge. Try and kill the Krampus. Uh, Thumper Dying also puts him up to three Carnage tokens now. So uh, we're charging with Log, and he's gonna make a swing. He's combat four, uh, and looking for fours to hit the Krampus with his shock stick. Shock him! One, two. Uh, so Krampus can try and dodge, and he probably will, because if I don't, He'll get minus to his combat. Well, no, it doesn't even matter because till the end of the round. Yeah, he'll just try and dodge. He just wants to take it. Coming. Yeah, he probably just wants to take it because it's gonna. Well, we'll see what location is first. Location is the six, which will be his legs. Ooh, that would cripple his legs. It won't quite cripple his legs. He's got three boxes of oh, legs. Oh, I see. Um, yeah, I think he just takes it. I guess go one more time and try and stab him on fours. Oh, he goes up to four of these now. Uh, and he gets two one two, uh, and it's ta da. One this time, so again, Krampus could just take it and not get damaged. Go up to five. Land a Carmen Ronin. Okay, Ronin's gonna charge. Two. And Try and make the stabs. Eight combat on, you said fours? On fours, yep, big four. You get five. Well, he'll dodge. We'll see the location first. To the 
four. four, so it's into his torso, which is unwounded. You could okay. make it into a five by canceling one. I'm okay by hitting him in the uh, torso. Okay. Dodges. Looking for eight, sixes. Looking for sixes. Gets one. ones, takes four to the torso, and becomes crippled in the torso. Last attack. Six. Eight. Looking for threes now. Get him. You can't dodge it this time, Krampus. Take your four. four to the uh, three. three. This is body. This is body. Yep, so it cripples his torso. Not die, hopefully. Krampus is going to spend five of these seven, go down to two, and transform into Nightmare Krampus. Everyone gets displaced back so that he fits. And the pain and suffering has turned him into Super Monster Krampus. Fights the world. <laughs> Sweeping blow from the Carmen Ronin. Sweeping blow for one, and it's just one SP. Okay. And you have, he has to do a speed roll with a difficulty of six. If okay. you don't get any successes, you take a wound to the chest. He's speed five. So he needs to get at least one six, or he takes an automatic to the That's chest. Right. Nope, nope, takes one. Again. Twice per round. Twice per round. Remember, each of these costs you... Just one, to not just one. Oh, you get success, he's good. He's Nightmare Krampus, mental control at the beginning of the intensity phase, place three frenzy markers on his card, so he's going to gain three of these immediately. At the beginning of the round, immediately after determining the first player, uh, NPCs can go, they're all dead. Fangstorm, uh, Nightmare Krampus can perform three attacks per round instead of two. Uh, insensible, he's immune to fear and poison. Cannibal, this ability is effective when Nightmare Krampus has not suffered any wounds. Whenever Nightmare Krampus inflicts at least one wound, uh, he's healed one point to a limb of his choice. He can spend all kinds of um, fury tokens to do special things. So he's gonna activate the start of this round um, and be able to use all kinds of things. All the other levels of Krampus are now gone uh, and both of the NPCs are gone as well. The start of the turn, he gains up to four fury tokens. Spend one, uh, two to roll twice on the pleasure giving table for his combat and gets a one and a three. So brutal charge. Whenever he makes a charge action against an opponent fighter, this mito can um, perform a combat roll in opposition with the combat and do damage. Knock AP off people, sorry. Uh, and then snowball. Uh, the great hormone places the blast template in the field within 10 centimeters. Uh, and is, in addition, if it's left in the ground until the end of the round, it counts as a scenery element. So he throws a snowball. Those are basically useless. <laughs> oh yeah, go ahead and play tax card. Going down to eight, because I gain one minus three. And we're just going to put Twist of Fate on Ronin. Just, just in case, case he dies. Yep, just in case he dies. At seven, Krampus is going to start stabbing. He's going to stab poor Lug and dodge because he doesn't like the idea of being dead. Um, so he'll spend an AP to do that. And then it's seven dice looking for Lug four plus Vigor. And that's pretty good. So that's four successes. And he gets to roll back. The location is going to be to the one, which is the head. That's not good. He's speed six, so he can potentially dodge these on sixes. Four to the one. Dodges oh, no. none and takes four to the head. Uh, turns into three and doesn't die. This is one damage because he injured somebody. And then he's going to strike poor Lug again. Nice looking for fours. And gets... Three. Three to the... Oh. One again. That's good enough. This is all and the dodge. Let's see if we dodge. Six dice three. looking for six. Need three of them. But two of them to live. No, one. Don't. That's oh, going to kill Lug. Lug's does dead. Right? Just does the one. To his head. It's another rage token. Decides he's going to make his third attack into Orobos. Seven dice, looking for Orobos' fours. Are you done? Right, that yep, fours three there. Yeah. Uh, six. Spend a success to make it the five. No, that doesn't make any sense because it won't do any damage. Dodging back. And getting two. And so he only takes one. The plastic armor will shrug it. And Eronis is fine. Well, let's hit him back, Eronis. We can see we can do some damage here. Uh, so you are still combat of five. And hit him on fives now, because his vigor's gone up. One. Uh, he just takes one to the four. And I attack, try and hit him again. Five dice, combat. See, we hit him on four, on five, sorry. Two, three. One, two, three this time. He has no, uh, dodging, he has no dodging, so the location is the two. two. All right, Ronan. Let's do it. Seven attacks. He needs fives. First one. First swing. Look at the fives. One, two. Two, two to the... It's one. passive, one, hits in the head. Again! Whoa, one, two, three, that's four. better. Four total to the... Three. Three, which will be the body. Rage, going for the sweeping blow. Yep, Krampus got to do a speed check. Look speed up check, he's speed five, he's one six. Take one to your body. Uh, takes wow. one, and he goes to right. cripple in the body, that's right. So it won't do any other damage to do it again, and he needs two uh, aspects crippled because there's two players in this game to die. 
Aries is going to go. He's going to walk 10 over to here, and then he's going to charge. Try and stab a five. At seven, Let's see if we can finish this guy off. We have to kill one more aspect. If we do it, he's dead. Hit on fours now because his vigor's broken. But we only get three. Roll a one, we can take him out. One or, one or two. We roll a six, unfortunately, and do nothing. Beaten but unbad. Back over to you, Gray Damio. You charge the Damio. Stand right in here Just on move, this. Move the garbage can. Garbage can. <laughs> probably not going to Not going to stop giant robot, robot man, no. Five uh, nice. Hit on fours now because his vigor's broken. Take three. Three to the. This could kill him. Six. Six. Yeah. He's dead. It breaks his legs, and the great Krampus goes down. Although uh, we were at the the the, the what is it? The um, immortals were the edge of life because he was almost dead, and it one hit would kill him. And so there you go. The story of how robots saved Christmas from Krampus. Um, so uh, thanks to the folks over at Happy Game Factory, I have one of the immortal starter sets. I'm going to give it away to a lucky patron. So if you're one of my patrons, um, just comment on this video and I will select a random person uh, from my patron list to get this cool little gift from Happy Game Factory. So thank you for guys making this video possible. Um, for the rest of you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, there's lots of cool Eden Legends stuff on the website with neat little multiplayer scenarios like that. And in fact, a lot of the models we use today have multiple multiplayer options. There's more missions for the, the little uh, farm animals, such as the feast where you go and try and kill them. The robots um, have one where they create, there's like a big one and he's making little robots. That's so right. You have to go fight he's spitting out stuff. little robots. There's all kinds of different uh, multiplayer stuff. So this game actually is a lot of fun as a multiplayer event. And we're going to try and do more of those in the future. So anyway, thanks for watching this. We'll see you next time. Then I'm Ashley Zellin at Programming. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.